So we've got a standard into scanlin view. We've got C5 here, C6 here. We can see this pulsation. So we've got an artery on top. It's probably transverse cervical. We're just flicking the program and we can we're following the artery. So we can see it's running on top of C5 above uh, our fascia, the repeatable fascia. We've also noted that we've got nerve in the body of little scalene. How are we going to try and avoid that? We're going to pop in needle trajectory aiming this way to give us a little space in case we overshoot. And now our target is to get local anesthetic spreading between the brachial plexus and the middle scalene muscle. So a gentle needle approach just under C5. Keeping in mind that this is neural tissue here. So we're going to be very cautious. And do a little test injection in a second. Definitely wouldn't want to get any closer than that. So we've got this is a gentle injection here. We can see we've got some locum spreading there. Trying one more time. And uh, this patient's completely awake and is able to give us feedback if they get paresthesia, which is not a guarantee for avoiding nerve injury. So caution is the key. Bit better spread, but it seems that there's some intramuscular local anesthetic deposition happening here. So keeping in mind that we have our transverse cervical artery here, one thing we can do sometimes to improve our local anesthetic spread pattern is to sit just on top of C5, give it a little poke, um, just past the fascia here, which we'll do now. Just into that space there. And now you can see local anesthetic really spreading down there. It's quite a significant difference. We'll look one more time at the difference. Mm -hmm.